how would you like to make as much as $12,000 a week? And so, of course, we had to get the CEO and owner of Sisu Energy, LLC, Jim Grundy, on the phone. Good morning, Jim. How are you? Hey, good morning to you. How are you? Doing really well. And uh, I see that your company is in Fort Worth, Texas. That's right. Right down the road from you guys. Exactly. Uh, Now, what do you guys do, and are you looking for people to come fill jobs? Absolutely. So we're a transportation hub uh, for owner-operators. We're a 100% owner-operator company designed to optimize equipment for uh, independent businesses and drivers out there that are looking to make the most money they can. So right now, our top earners are upwards of about 15000 a week. We average about 12000 a week in revenue, of which the owner-operator takes home 83 to 85% of whatever they generate. Now, uh, what are they hauling? I mean, you know, because I've always heard that being a truck driver is, uh, you know, so-and-so cents a mile and things like that. It's nowhere near this amount of money. What are you, What are they hauling? Yeah, so the majority of what we do is the frac sand, uh, bayrite, bentonite, frac sand, what we use for oil and gas. Uh, you bet. Um, you know, the type of stuff out here in West Texas, South Texas. But we also have a, a large uh, gra- uh, uh, grip on Amazon and J.B. Hunt Freight as we're a preferred carrier for those guys as well. So we're all, we're in the lower 48. We're all over. Matter of fact, I believe we have some folks over there in Birmingham today doing Yay. some deliveries. So. Yes, we have yeah, a yeah. we have a lot of truck drivers that listen. Uh, they stay informed. They like to listen to talk radio. They're really great guys. Um, so, what would the average uh, week look like for one of your drivers if somebody you know wants to apply for this? Yep. So, an owner operator goes to our website. They apply ccenergyllc.com. Uh, you know, obviously our recruiting team that they, they'll, they'll get them rolling in about three to four days, uh, and it just depends. But on average, you're going to generate if you're in the frac sand world. If you're interested in doing that, uh, you're going to make about two thousand dollars revenue a day, uh, which is about fourteen grand a week on average. If you work six days a week, that's where the twelve thousand dollars comes from. Most guys typically work uh, five to six days a week. Five to uh, six. But if you okay. want to, over, yeah, if you want to do over the road. Uh, you want to go, you know, coast to coast or whatever. Though those folks in our in our platform are averaging two fifty to three dollars a mile, um, generating about eighty five hundred to nine thousand dollars a week. Are you worried at all about this new administration and uh, their crackdown on you know fracking and oil trans oil and things like that? Are do you have any fears about what's going to happen over the next four years? Um, I think it's a concern. I think it's uh, not as big a concern as uh, 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 Coach Saban and his recruiting down there in Bama and wearing out Texas that's, folks. That's no here, concern but. at all. <laughs> I mean, that is uh, yeah. the rule. It's the law here in Alabama. So that is not oh, a concern yeah. even a little bit. <laughs> Y'all are making us look bad over here. It's not. It's ugly. But, no, I mean, you know, people forget, I think, sometimes – you know what? A lot of what's being can talked about uh, the ban on fracking is really on federal land. Uh, Texas is very independent, very much like Alabama. True. True. Uh, you can't come into our state and tell us what to do, right? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. not going to fly very far. Um, and it, the last time this happened, and we, when we reduced uh, operations on federal land, was under Obama, and the oil went up over a hundred dollars. That's true, uh, folks. You know, it, it, it actually can can they can shoot themselves in the foot because. It's a supply and demand issue. You want to limit the supply out there. The demand is going to get stronger and stronger with the recovery. What's going to happen is oil is going to keep going up. That's correct. It's going to make more money for the people. Okay, so this is uh, just – I just want to reiterate for everybody. Jim Grundy, Sisu Energy, and it's S-I-S-U. Uh, what is get? Let's give that website one more time for them to apply if they want to come get one of these great gigs. Yeah, sure. It's www.sisu, and that's S-I-S-U, energyllc.com. So it's sisu, energyllc.com, or they can call us 817-717-1616. And if you bring us 
a player from Alabama will give you a percentage increase. <laughs> no, we don't trade those out. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We'll take less money and keep our players. <laughs> all hey. right. Well, we'll, just keep, we'll keep losing then. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. It's just the way it is in college football. Hey, Jim, thank you so much. Good luck with your company. Good luck finding some great drivers. Alabama has the hardest working people uh, outside of Texas, so hopefully we can send you some. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys be safe. Thanks, you too.